Grade 6 math number 12.4b, height versus slant height. We're only dealing with 2D areas with perimeter and area right now, but I wanted to make sure you understood the height versus the slant height because you might get confused. As we said in 12.4a, the area of a figure is the number of square units needed to cover it without any gaps or overlaps, like here. There's 15 units here. See? Now this is not a fat figure that's 3D, this is a flat figure like a sheet of paper. And its area is the length times the width. So you might see the word height here that might confuse you. The height of a figure is its length from the base to the top of the figure is a perpendicular line, not this diagonal line here. Okay, a slant height is a dis distance from a vertex of like a cone, a pyramid, or a triangle to a point on the edge of its base. So to find the area, the flat measure is just the length times the width, okay? The length multiplied by the width, okay? I don't know if you remember from fifth grade, but if you remember our friend Bob, he's two-dimensional. He's 2D. When he turns sideways, we only see a straight line. He has no thickness to him at all. He's 2D and flat like a piece of paper. He only has the length and width. And when he turns sideways, like a sheet of paper, he's just a thin line, see? So the area is two-dimensional. It's just this measure multiplied by that measure. It's like a sheet of paper, it's flat, it has no height, it only has length and width, see? When length and width are multiplied together, they make square units. Five times three, five inches times three inches is 15 square inches. That would be 15 inches squared. And the little two is an exponent that lets us know we're dealing with two dimensions, see? Height for a 2D flat object or shape is found by drawing a perpendicular line from the base to the top straight up. So if we've got a parallelogram, our height goes straight up from the base and it's a perpendicular line, see? It's like this. It's got nothing to do with this angle here or this angle here, okay? It goes straight up and you'll see the 90 degree box next to it, okay? All right. I don't know if you remember also that this is Dave's, this is Dave, this is Bob's cousin. He's 3D, okay? Dave is three-dimensional. He has length, width, and height. So he's fat, he's thick, see? When he turns sideways, we do see him because he's got a thickness to him, see? So that's volume. Volume is three-dimensional. It's fat, it's thick, it has depth, and volume has cube units. So when we measure it, we'll say inches with a little three for cubed. And that tells us that there's three dimensions and that it's fat and thick, like a cube. The slant height is the measure of the face height. Like on this square pyramid, it's the face height along here. This is what it would look like opened up. If you took this and opened it up right here at the apex and opened it up like that, it would look like this. And here's the base. And then here's the walls, the faces, the sides laid out. Well, that's the slant height, how tall this face is. This, it's called a lateral face, okay? Even on a cone. And the way to find the regular height is the same way with our parallelogram. You make a perpendicular line going from the flat base straight up, see, with that 90 degree angle there. Same with the square pyramid. See, it goes straight up the center. But the slant height is on the face of it and it's slanted, okay? That's slant height. And it measures taller than the perpendicular height. It's longer and it's found on 3D shapes. These shapes have both slant height and perpendicular height. That's its slant height and then the perpendicular height goes straight up. So don't confuse slant height with regular height, okay? With what we're doing with area, it goes perpendicular from the base, straight up with a little 90 degree angle right there, okay? Slant height is the height of the face on an angle of a 3D object like a square pyramid or a cone or a triangular pyramid, okay? So just remember Bob and Dave, all right? 
and remember that the slant height is completely different from regular height, okay? We'll get more into this later, but I just wanted to clarify this. I hope this helped you. See you soon. Bye.